What happened that made you say FCKU to the universe? Dad died of cancer in his early 60s. The kindest, strongest, most compassionate, wholesome man I knew, this superhero, slowly had the hope in life painfully drained from him before he was even able to retire and enjoy every bit of peace he deserved. I pleaded, cried out, wished, even prayed to any force listening that I'd do or give up anything just to save him. He still died. He died, and an endless number of monsters go on living long and happy. The universe is heartless. Living as a gay person when all I hear is people out of levels of society chastising and minimizing me for my personal biology. There's no bad guys when it comes to human sexuality. It's innate and guided in a person by the brain. It makes life so fucking so hard. But I keep trying to overcome the obstacles it throws at me, including a lot of my family disowning me because I'm gay. Trump religious type. I'm a professional person and I contribute to society. My mother. We were having a hard time as a family mainly because of my brother and is losing complete custody of my mother's grandchildren because he is an ass. My father rented an Airbnb by the lake with a hot tub and a view. She tripped and fell two minutes after entering the residence. Broke her ribs and got pneumonia. In 2020. I couldn't go to the hospital and see her. She died on the ventilator. She was a respiratory therapist who was just about to retire. Getting WLS and immediately getting sick and unable to live out the things I planned. I was 19 and thought things would get better for me since the first 19 years tore me apart. Yeah, the universe said, ha, watch this you thought you were suicidal before? The last 12 years have been horrible and I haven't done anything I had excitedly planned to. I never made any other plans because when I did it blew up in my face. Now, I'm just waiting to die. FTW, not to the universe, but it made me say FCKU to a whole community, and that's the scandal involving Ryan Haywood of Achievement Hunter. Yes, what Ryan did was indeed bad and I do have some disappointment towards him, I'm more angry with how it was handled by the group and its respected community. I go into it, but I'd be here all day and it's best I don't talk about it since I'd get very heated. Being born in a household with a narcissist drug abusing manipulative alcoholic asshole is an excuse for a father clearly. He's never had any real consequences in his life. I'd be rid of him if I had a sustainable job and income to live off of. He's been doing this since before I was born and now being 63, he still has no real motive of changing. Kinda wish the universe would take him out right now. I had a cat that loved going onto this stupid outcropping on my 20th floor balcony, and loved lying there for ages. I got worried that she would fall off, so I told my parents to barricade that part off. They told me it would be fine cat won't fall. One month later, my cat disappeared. After one whole day of frantic searching, my dad found the ground floor. The first 10 years of my life were great and nothing but fun and I moved to Texas two years in Texas my dad found out his dispatcher was messing with his jobs he left and went on unemployment long story short he lost unemployment I became homeless at 12 everyone in my family that could have helped died and I've now been homeless living from truck to hotel for 4 years. We spent $700 we didn't really have to fix a car so I could take my kids to school because they don't get a bus, just for my father and lot to total at the literal next day. So now I'm walking them the 15-25 minutes to school and back every single day. Which is great exercise until the winter hits live where it can start snowing next month. I won a 32 TV as a door prize last month that I didn't need. Five days ago, my 5 years old was practicing his baseball swing in the reflection of my 55 TV while it was off. The wooden back scratcher he was using as a bat slipped out of his hands and cracked the screen so bad. The universe knew I had won too many TVs and even the score. Watching my dad gradually succumb to MS has been a 20 year mindfuck. In his 20s, he was mentally as sharp as a tack and had the physique of a gladiator. Now he's in a wheelchair full time, his short term memory is completely destroyed, and he can barely grasp the simplest of concepts. So yay, fuck the universe. Took antibiotics for a supposed infection and developed permanent nerve damage due to the medication. Never was aware that was a side effect. Found out later that I never had an infection to begin with and the antibiotics ruining my body were not necessary to take. This happened a year ago at 24 years old. Too much, but most recently. My girlfriend of 3 years who frequently would talk to me about wanting to have children, suddenly left me for a 22 year old gym buddy. When I say sudden I mean acted as if everything was okay and was super loving and passionate up until the very moment she walked out the door. Knowing that all the food in American is pretty much boys and the government doesn't have our best interest. 
The elite always begging the masses to donate to their cause when a lot of people are struggling to make ends meet or move up. It's the world's biggest club and we're not part of it. For being born in a mortal body that is just an accumulation of trauma and pain, slowly dying all the while trying to understand why? What the fuck is the point of all this suffering? Saying fuck you to the universe is cathartic and I highly recommend it. You got to let it out. Seeing so many of my friends struggle and finding out my dirtbag sociopath of an ex was just given a house. Like I really don't care if something good happened to him. I just don't understand why good things will happen to bad people when good people are still struggling so hard. Developed a stutter as a result of head trauma, never got speech therapy, now I'm 34 and have to deal with 20-somethings giggling at me whenever I order food, get reprimanded for stuttering when answering calls at work and every potential date has noped out once they found out. Who cares? The world sure didn't, so why the fuck should anyone else? I'm not saying fuck the universe, I'm saying break that bitch in half. Om that shouldn't rise to the occasion. I'm out here raising wolves. What the fuck you doing with your life talking about it? Five months ago my beloved emotional support cat was diagnosed with one of the rarest most aggressive cancers cats can get lung digit syndrome. He passed two months after diagnosis. He was fine when they caught the cancer. Makes no sense still, it wasn't as fucked. Getting dumped and then despite pleading not to get blocked ghosted it immediately happened anyway. Months of heartbreak. It's such a predictably disappointing and banal outcome. I am in fact kind of annoyed at the universe. Why do things have to suck? I used to feel that way, but then I realized that I'm the only one responsible for my emotions, and for how I react to life. Good luck out there for all of you who still carry anger and resentment. You can put it down whenever you're ready. The way that people feel more relatable to billionaires instead of those who are less fortunate. Most of them basically hate those that are less fortunate and want the billionaires to get all the breaks because that will be them someday. S. I was 8 when I learned that bad things can and will happen to good people and although everybody talks a big game, nobody will do anything to help. It's a lonely realization. Abuse at the hands of my stepmother, if you're wondering. I found a paralyzed baby squirrel and put it in a box so I could call the animal center people in the morning because they were closed at the time and then I woke up and my cat was eating it head first so I saw it headless. Every evil thing that could happen has happened with my family. It almost feels like someone has been cursing our family. Even though I try to be my best self. Most of the time I end up feeling pessimistic about everything. An incident involving a couple of social workers, police and a doctor are arresting and taking someone with no history of mental problems out of their home and trying to commit them into a psych ward under false pretenses. Grandpa died due to stomach cancer. Doctor insisted that it was just gas whenever he went to get it checked out. Ever since then, family members get sick one way or another whenever the holidays start rolling in. My sheer birth. I'd elaborate further but I'm too much in an impatient, pissy mood to bother. Seriously, why was I born into a life where I can't easily choose a peaceful way out? Whose fucking idea was it? I was going nowhere in life. Doing many dumb and illegal things. Find out I'm gonna be a dad? Clean up. Even join the military. Leave the hospital to be hit by a drunk driver and losing my daughter. The first time I said fuck you to the universe was when my son died. The second time was when my best friend died of cancer and I couldn't be there with him because I was deployed. Get fired from job. Eat through $4,000 in savings. Settle for fast food job because I need to eat. Second day of work, car breaks down. No money for gas groceries or car repair. Columbine. Or more honestly the reaction or lack thereof to Columbine. I'll probably get shot someday. It doesn't even haunt me anymore. I've seen him given enough tears. Having my godfather and grandfather both die in the same year so to things that could have in theory been prevented had things gone differently. God I hated 2022 for that. My dad died. I got a bad case of COVID. My dog got wildly sick costing me 3k, and I threw my back out. I cursed out every entity possible. I could use a win. Dad passed away when I was 15, my first brother suicided when I was 21, and my second brother suicided when I was 23. At times, I really hate this universe. My sister getting killed she was 18 and I was 14 and we were best friends. Losing her made me hate the universe. Today is the 13th anniversary of her death. The first girl who ever had a crush on me actually fucked two guys before she was 18. Now she's homeless, but somehow I'm not satisfied with that ending. We were all tricked into working for corporations for a piece of paper that loses value. 9-11, 2008 market crash, COVID. 
I mean we can keep going. Nothing at all, to be honest. It was just one of those days, where all is well, but anxiety looming. Frustration put simply, angry as heck. Getting a call on Christmas Eve that my 7 year old nephew's cancer had returned. Then getting the call a few months later that he had died. My peach's last moments were pure suffering, and I didn't even get to be there for her at the end. Something inside me broke that night. My paranoia getting worse and worse. At this point I'm too scared to curse out the universe in case they decide to attack me for it. My best friend died and my wife cheated on me and came out as lesbian right after I spent almost everything on a wedding and a house. Working a customer service job, the entitlement and the low down dirty nastiness humans interactions I experienced. Yuck, hmm? Feeling unsupported by my own family? Financially no prob. Other else you're on your own, kid kinda thing. My son's wheelchair safety strap malfunctioned. He fell forward and was strangled by it. Fuck you, universe. The universe banged my whore wife while I was stationed overseas. Fuck you if you're reading this, universe. My dad's death at 69 years old. Year long battle with cancer and was a few days away from his birthday. Being a constant failure in whatever I tried to do ever since I lost my dad who was my direction in life. Probably in about my leg of a fuck Glenn just died. I DK. I just have no fucks left to give. I just know that bitch is it out for me because nothing in my life can ever just turn out okay. For the last 4 years, a bunch of shit has been thrown at me, and I'm just tired and depressed. Every goddamn day that piece of shit war criminal Henry Kissinger continues to draw breath. 